So, I'm Philippa Franzler and I'm a PhD student at the Department of Metrology and I've been looking at the uh, terrestrial dissolved organic carbon in the Baltic Sea. In other words, uh, the organic matter that comes through the rivers. Um, and the objective was to look at the degradation kinetics um, and try to quantify how much disappears and how much <coughs> is exported to the Atlantic Ocean of this carbon. And the background is uh, a paper by Deutsche Welle, 2012, that managed to separate the marine organic carbon from the terrestrial organic carbon and uh, they could get concentrations along a salinity gradient from north to south in the Baltic Sea. Um, so, we, we wanted to try to model this with a three-dimensional model called the uh, Nemo Nordic. Uh, it has a resolution of two nautical miles and uh, I'm using river enough from a hydrological model called eHype. And then I have five years of monthly measurements of VOC, the carbon, uh, from 78 different rivers. And you see the red dots in the map that also shows the bathymetry of the, well, the model. Um, so the question was, if we release the carbon from the rivers and apply a degradation rate, can we get the same con concentrations as Deutsch at all measured? So um, I made three experiments. One uh, reference or control experiment, uh, where I just released it without a degradation rate and let it passively mix in the Baltic Sea to see what would the concentration be if, if we didn't have any degradation. And then uh, an experiment where I applied a, a degradation rate to the whole pool of carbon. Uh, so it's 100% labor. And then I also divided the carbon into two different uh, categories, one labor pool and a refractory pool that is not affected by degradation. So I set that to 20% the refractory part and 80% the labor part. And uh, some results. So in the top figure you see the reference, uh, reference results from the reference experiments. And you see that the black bars are much higher than the, the red bars. And the black bars are the model results and the red bars are the measurements by Deutsch. And well, that says that something has to disappear uh, in the Baltic Sea. And here you see the experiment with just 100% lab uh, dissolved organic carbon, and with a degradation rate of nine years, <coughs> we get quite similar concentrations to the observations. And then we also get similar concentrations with a 20% uh, refractory and 80% lab out. So we can do it in two different ways. And then you can wonder, does it matter which way we do it? And the difference is actually where it is degraded. So uh, this is the 100% LIBO, and you see that the gradient, well, I should explain what this means first. The pictures show the mean removal rate in tons per year. So uh, black and brown have is very high removal rate. And we have larger gradients between coastal and open sea in the refractory and level experiment. Uh, and that could have a, an implication on, for example, the 
carbon dioxide exchange with the atmosphere. Um, so the main insights, the Baltic Sea, uh, we found to be a large sink for the terrestrial dissolved organic carbon. So up to 80% disappears in the system. And most is degraded close to the coast. But we need more observational and uh, experimental studies to investigate the bioavailability of this carbon and uh, also to investigate the processes. We can't say if it's bacterial degradation or photo degradation or flocculation that <coughs> takes away this carbon. So yeah. Thank you.